Philodendron Dendron Heart Leaf. If there were ever a plant that's perfect for people who are terrible with plants, it's the Sweetheart or Heart Leaf Philodendron just like this. Not only are they easy to keep healthy, but seriously, they're harder to kill than to keep alive. But they come in a variety of beautiful shades and can be kept as cheerful, bushy plants or graceful trailers. Philodendrons do just fine in low light conditions, one of the best aspects of their versatility. Plants that receive medium or indirect light, however, will grow faster and produce more leaves. Philodendrons should not be placed in direct sunlight. Philodendrons may be grown in soil or just in water. Plants that live in soil should be watered when half of the soil is dry. As with most plants, yellow leaves indicate overwatering and brown leaves indicate underwatering. You can tell when a philodendron needs water because its leaves will appear wilted. When watered, the plants will reward you with a perky appearance, just like what we're seeing on its leaves. Other information is that philodendrons also thrive in containers with just water. Monitor the water closely before your philodendron may drink it faster than you anticipate. One thing to note is that once a plant is used to living in either soil or water, it doesn't always do well being transferred to the other medium. Honestly, I know from my personal experience that philodendrons will survive for years without fertilization. However, they are fast-growing plants and should be fertilized monthly with a half-strand solution of houseplant food in the spring and summer and every other month in fall and winter. Alternately, fertilize every 3 to 4 months. Watch your plant because you should only offer fertilizer when it's actively producing new leaves. You know what guys, what I do really love about philodendrons, they may be enjoyed as hanging plants, trailing plants, or table plants. No matter which style you choose, pruning your philodendron regularly will help you keep your plant lush and full. Leggy trails should be cut just after a node. Do this regularly to promote bushiness and encourage new growth. Make sure cuts are smooth rather than jogged. And you can use scissors, pruning shears, or simply your fingernails. One of the most fun things about philodendrons, beside the wool staying alive thing, is how easy they are to propagate. All you need to do is simply cut or pinch off a branch, making sure at least a couple of nodes are present. Take leaves off your cuttings if you need to expose additional nodes. You can put the cutting directly into water or soil and it'll begin to grow. I have many friends who have my philodendrons plant babies. This is one of the best plants in Year of the Water Tiger 2022, so have it now.